Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So far, six problems I have completed on inventory control. Now in this video, three more problems I am going to explain. So in almost all the problems, every problem you can see one or two are the new points. So you have to focus, you have to give more concentration on those new points. But comparatively, this chapter is very easy. It's not so difficult. You have to remember the formula and how to, I mean, uh, substitute the values in the given formula. So before starting the seventh problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain. Come on, see the seventh problem. A company uses every month 1500 units of a component costing 1.20 each. Each purchase order costs 15 rupees and the inventory carrying cost is 6% per year of the average inventory. Find the EOQ and is it worth if 5% discount is given for a single order placement? So here every month 1500. So we need per annum. We need per annum. So 1500 into 12 months is equal to, it comes to 1500 into 12. So it comes to 18,000 units. So per annum 18,000 units. And the ordering cost is 50 rupees, right? And the carrying cost is 6% of 1.20 each. Per unit is 1.20. So it comes to EOQ 2 into 18,000 2 into 18,000 into 50 divided by so again I calculate 2 into 18,000 into 50 divided by 0 0.072 it comes to 2 crore 50 lakh under root it comes to 5,000 it comes to 5,000 units. Total cost at EOQ including this one. So 18,000 units into 1.2. So 18,000 into 1.20, it comes to 21,600. 21,600 plus here also not 1,500, it is 18,000 because it is given per month. We have converted it to per annum. So 2 into 18,000 into 50 into 0 0.072. It comes to 129,600. 129,600 under root 360. So the total cost comes to 21,600 plus 360. It comes to 21,960. This is the total cost, total cost at EOQ, including material cost. If 5% discount is given for a single order placement, then total inventory will be as follows. 1.20 is the per unit cost, minus 5%, 1.14. So here material cost will be 18,000 units. 18,000 into, 18,000 units into 1.14. It comes to 20,000, 20,520, 20,520, right? Ordering cost for one order is 50 rupees. Carrying cost, average inventory into cost per unit into percentage of carrying cost. So ordering quantity, here ordering quantity is 5,000 units. So 5,000 divided by 2 into 1.14. Again, we calculate. 5000 divided by 2 into 1.14 into 6% it comes to 171 it comes to 171 total inventory cost is equal to material cost material cost is how much 20,520 
20,520 plus ordering cost. Ordering cost is only one order, 50 rupees. And carrying cost, carrying cost is 171. Now total cost we'll see 20,520 plus 50 plus 171. It comes to 20,741. 20,741. Total inventory cost at EOQ. At EOQ, the total material cost, total inventory cost is 21,960. 21,960. Total inventory cost at discounted policy is 20,741. Now, compare. If we follow EOQ, the total inventory cost is 21,000, 21,960. Whereas if we avail the discount policy, then our total inventory cost is 20,741. So what uh, compare, compare these two costs, where the cost is lower in uh, discounted policy, the total inventory cost is lower. So we suggest to the company to avail the discount of 5% and place only one order. Because the total inventory cost is less. That's it. Now, eighth problem. Problem number eight. The following are the details of material used in a hospital. As a store manager, how do you plan to arrange the material which should be the ideal level of inventory? That means we have to find out what is the EOQ and what are the different levels. Annual consumption, 1 lakh units. Cost of material, 5 rupees per unit. Ordering cost 20 rupees per order. Inventory carrying cost 36% of the inventory cost. Lead time 30 days and safety stock 20 days consumption. This is the information given. Now one by one we will calculate. So here for finding out the ideal level of inventory first we need to calculate EOQ. EOQ 2 CO by A. C. Annual consumption 1 lakh units given. Ordering cost per order 20 rupees. And the carrying cost is 36% of cost per unit. The cost per unit is 5 rupees. So 36% of 5 rupees 1.8. Now substitute EOQ is equal to 2 into 1 lakh into 20 divided by 1.8. So after root EOQ comes to 1490.71. So we can make it equivalent to 1490 units. This is the EOQ. Now here uh, the lead time is given in days and the safety stock is also given in days but how many days are there in a year effective number of days is not given so we will make an assumption it is assumed that the number of effective working days are 250 for easy calculations we have taken assuming 250 working days in a year the daily usage will be 1 lakh units is the annual consumption number of days are 250 so per day Consumption is 400 units. Now lead time is 30 days given in the problem. In the problem it is given lead time 30 days. So consumption during lead time 30 days into 400 units comes to 12,000 units. And safety stock is given as 20 days consumption. So safety stock 20 days consumption 20 days into 400 units per day. So 8,000 units. So we got consumption during lead time and we got safety stock reorder point the formula for reorder point is consumption during lead time plus safety stock already in the previous problem also we have applied this formula so consumption during lead time 12,000 units and stock safety stock 8,000 12,000 plus 8,000 20,000 units is the reorder point reorder level now minimum stock level minimum stock level is the safety stock the safety stock is 8,000 units. The minimum stock is 8,000. Maximum stock level is economic ordering quantity plus safety stock. So what is the economic ordering quantity EOQ 1490 plus safety stock 8,000? It comes to 9,490 units. Next one is average stock level. Minimum stock level plus half of reorder quantity. Minimum stock is 8,000. That is safety stock plus half of reorder quantity reorder quantity means economic ordering quantity EOQ 1490 half it comes to 745 so 8745 is the average stock 
level. This is the end of eighth one. Now see the ninth one. A company uses annually 50,000 units of raw material which cost rupees 2.50 per unit. Placing each order cost 45 rupees and the carrying cost is 7% per year of the average inventory. Find the economic lot size and the total inventory cost. So two items straightforward. This type of formulas we have done so many times. So simply EOQ 2CO by I under root. C annual consumption. It is given 50,000 units. Ordering cost per order given 45 rupees per order. And the carrying cost is 7% of cost per unit. The cost per unit is 2 rupee 50 paisa. So 2.50 into 7% 0.175. Substitute the values in the formula of EOQ. 2 into 50,000 into 45 divided by 0.175. So after root it comes to 5070.92. So we can round it up to 5070. Or 5071 also you can take. So economic lot size EOQ is 5070. Total inventory cost shortcut method by using a simple formula we can calculate MC plus 2COI under root MC stands for material cost the cost of the material the material cost is 50,000 units annually and per unit 2 rupee 50 paisa so 1 lakh 25,000 is the material cost plus variable cost the variable cost consists of ordering cost and carry cost so in one formula itself, we can get both ordering cost, carry cost. 2 COI under root. Right? 2 into 50,000 into 45 into 0.175 under root. So after root, you are getting 887.41. This is the variable cost. So 1,25,000 is the material cost and the variable cost is 887.41. Add up. 1,25,000, 887.41. This is the total inventory cost including material cost so till now we have completed nine problems on inventory control and stores management inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video